Good evening to you, Offense. Thank you very much for making time and joining us here on Newsnight. Um, when I read through your bio, one statement really uh, piqued my interest, and that was how committed you are to breaking barriers. And I think you're doing exactly that. As the founder of the first ever fully black-owned and operated orchestra on the continent, just talk to us about uh, your journey and where your love for music really started. So, I mean, my love for music comes from when I was a little girl. My mom took me everywhere she went in terms of parties with her friends, gatherings, and the like. So, from there, I listened to all of the music that she was playing with her friends and stuff. And then that translated into me going to church because, you know, if you grew up in church where your parents and your grandparents are always there, you have to pick something that will interest you and sort of like part time while they are doing church stuff. So, that's when I got introduced to the to the trumpet as a 12 year old. And then that just evolved in my love for music, you know, classical music, bands, orchestras, the likes. And that further translated into me starting my own youth choir in 2018 um, by the name of Anchored Sound. And then Anchored Sound from the youth choir, it, it evolved into instruments, you know, um, me just adding some instrumentalists who are my friends and people that my friends knew and then before I knew it I had 19 um, instrumentalists and I was like shucks someone needs to conduct this so that's when I started my pursuit of you know looking for mentors to help me conduct and the rest is actually history because everything happened organically with seeing me um, collaborate with other interesting and amazing musicians in, in, in the spaces that transcend beyond even classical music. So I guess that's where the journey really began. Fantastic. Uh, but you are also an architect, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. So while pursuing the music stuff, I was also trying to be an architect wow. because... Yeah, as a young girl, top billing and, and music happened at the same time. So <laughs> those two worlds. So <laughs> I pursued architecture as well. And so those two worlds were happening at the same time. So you have an architect who is also a conductor. Mm. 